You're looking good, Luke. How's business? Uh, maybe one of these days you and me ought to have lunch or something. Uh, talk over old times? I, uh, I had a letter from Chubby Britt the other day. Uh, you remember Chubby. You got what you came for, Al. Is this gonna go on? This guy's bleeding your white. That's it. Kruger's had it. What have you been waiting for? Right time and circumstances. Oh, Karen. Uh, get me Sergeant Dakin at police headquarters. Yes, Mr. Lund. What do you want with Dakin? I pulled Dakin out of a spot a couple of months ago. Man does a favor, he expects a favor. Oh, Lloyd. Uh, here's a name and number in New York. Make a phone call for me. New York? Mike Hammer. Private detective who'll come running as soon as he knows that Al Kruger's in Shale City. Then what? And then... Sergeant Dakin is on the phone. All right, Karen. I'll explain to you later, Lloyd. Make that phone call, but make it from a public phone. And don't let Mike Hammer know who you are. I hope you know what you're doing. I usually do, Lloyd. Yeah. From home, Kruger? Hammer. So you remember me, huh? What are you doing here? Keeping a promise I made to myself five years ago after you skipped out on Luke Lund's murder trial. You let me alone. I Hammer. promised myself that somewhere, sometime, I'd find you and get the truth out of you if I had to beat it out of you. I'm telling you, Hammer. Right now, I'm hoping that you make me get it that way. You're not the law, Hammer. You've got no right I'm to. I'm taking the you right. Stay with you. All right, all right. Break it up. This is a private beef, Jack. Not anymore. Well, hello, Sergeant. Get out of here. Hey, now, wait a minute. Now, stop. I think you and I better have a talk, Hammer. Hammer? I'm in town a half hour already. I'm famous. I make it a point to know most strangers who hit town. Well, then you must not have very many visitors to this goat farm. Not your kind, we don't. Yeah, and just what is my kind? Let's go over there where we can talk. All right, you want to talk, so talk. Look, Hammer, I know why you hit town. Oh? You were seen getting off the train. The man who saw you Don't called me... Don't tell me his name. Let me guess. Luke Lund, right? Yeah, that figures. Wherever you find Luke Lund, Al Cougar's sure to be. Lund told me about the trouble he had in New York several years ago. Did he also tell you about the trouble he gave a girl named Stella Gorman? The murder charge against him was dropped. Sure, because the prime witness against him disappeared, Al Kruger. Luke Lund paid him to get lost, and he's probably still paying him to stay that way. Lund told me that would be the story you would tell me. Oh, he did, huh? Yeah, and I'll just bet that you don't believe me now, do you? It's not a question of whether I believe you or not. I'm not interested in Luke Lund's past or Al Kruger's. What if I bring you a signed statement by Al Kruger stating that he was paid off by Luke Lund to disappear so he wouldn't have to testify at the murder trial? And just how do you expect to get a statement like that? Well, I wouldn't worry my little head about that if I were you, Dakin. Now you listen to me, Hammer. Because I'm going to tell you this once. And only once. We don't have much trouble here in Shale City. But if that's what you're looking for, we'll scrape enough together to accommodate you. The next train out of here is at 418. You'll be doing yourself the biggest favor of your life if you're on it. See Luke Lund. I'm sorry he isn't in yet. Oh? Just a moment. What do you think you're doing? Just keeping you honest, Chickie. Just keeping you honest. Where can I find Luke Lund? What's your name? Who are you? Uh, my name's Hammer. Mike Hammer. Mike Hammer? Oh? 
What do you mean? Oh, honey. I think you'd better leave. Yeah, but you haven't answered my question yet. Where can I find Mr. Lund? Mr. Hammer, I'm warning you. Mr. Lund said if you came in here and started making trouble, I was to call the police. Yeah, he seems uh, he seems to be pretty cozy with the police in this town, especially a cop named uh, Dakin. Mr. Lund is very well liked in Shale City, Mr. Hammer. Do you mean this construction outfit isn't just a front? Do you mean that he's really gone legitimate? Well, it's possible, I suppose. Oh, relax now, honey. Relax. I'm leaving. Uh, what's your name? Karen. Karen? Baxter. Karen Baxter? Very nice. Very nice. Kruger wasn't in, so I made myself comfortable in the lobby to wait for him. By a little after seven, Kruger still hadn't shown up, but I wasn't impatient. After nearly five years, a few hours more didn't make any difference. And then my wait ended when the desk clerk told me I was wanted on the telephone. Yeah, Hammer. Well, Hammer, this is Luke Lund. My secretary tells me you're in to see me today. So? Oh, I'm sorry I missed you. I'd like to talk to you, too. Well, you know where I am. Well, I'm afraid I'm stuck tonight. I'm at home and can't make it. Uh, you wouldn't by any chance like to drop out to my place, would you? Well, just where is your place, huh? The address is 9714 Clyburn Road. It's about five miles out of town. You'll need a car. Well, I can rent one here in the hotel. Good. I'll be looking for you. And we can sit down and have a little man-to-man -man talk. Maybe I can change your mind about me. I doubt that. But I'll at least give you the chance. later I was driving through the gates of Lund's house just outside of town. It was a large colonial style house set in the midst of spacious well-kept grounds. If Luke Lund had really turned legitimate he was doing as well as he had ever done in the rackets in New York. expecting trouble and I felt a little disappointed at not finding it. But I shouldn't have. There was trouble there, all right. Plenty of it. I just didn't see it. like swimming to the top of a vat of glue. And when I did, I found I'd been gone about an hour and 10 minutes. I still had my gun and my wallet was still in my pocket. I've been taken for a ride and left on a country road. I didn't know where, except that it was probably somewhere between New York and San Francisco. After narrowing it down that far, the next thing to do was to find my way back to civilization. <laughs> Give me my key, huh? And send up a bucket of ice, and I got a couple of bumps I want to keep on the refrigeration. All right, stand still, hammer, and get your hands up. The natives are certainly restless tonight, aren't they? Cut the wisecracks, Hammer, and put them up. Take his gun. We're taking you in for questioning. For what? You wouldn't understand, Hammer. On second thought, maybe you would.
take his gun down to the lab and have a ballistics test run on it right away. Empty your pockets. Are you booking me, Dakin? Not yet. Well, when you do, I'll empty my pockets, not before. You're making it rough on yourself, Hammer. You've just been brought in for questioning. All right, so question me. Maybe you'll get some answers, maybe you won't. All right. Suppose you start by telling me where you were between 7 o'clock and the time you got back to the hotel. Suppose you tell me just why I should. Because you came to Shale City to get Kruger. You started to rough him up in the hotel. You told me how you were going to force a statement out of him. You made no secret how you felt about him. Okay, Harry, that's all. In less than eight hours after you hit town, Kruger is found beaten up and shot. Shot with your gun. I gave Dakin a statement just as it happened, but I knew it was a waste of time. All right, Hammer, suppose you tell me what really happened tonight. I don't think I can tell you one thing that you don't already know, Dakin. I think you're in on this. On what? On this framework, right up with that flabby gun of yours. All right, that'll be enough out of you. You knew when you sent my gun to the lab that it was going to be tagged as the one that was used to kill Kruger. I'm warning you. You knew it because it was either lifted from me when I was unconscious and used on Kruger, or there was some hanky-panky sleight of hand out of the lab. Now, which one was it? <laughs> It was the first floor window opening on an alley. I was getting lucky all of a sudden. Harry! I picked up a cab in town and left it about a quarter of a mile from the Lund house and made the rest of the trip on foot. I felt like an original painting by Rembrandt. That's how beautifully I was being framed. And there was only one way to break out of it. Get Luke Lund and squeeze the truth out of him. Obviously, Lund was home and expecting company. Thanks for coming out, Dakin. Take a look around the grounds, Harry. What went wrong, Frank? How did Hammer... If there's nothing else, Mr. Lund, I'll be going. All right, Karen. And thanks for bringing those papers out to me. Good night. Good night. With Dakin and his partner there, my showdown with Lund had to be postponed to another time and place. And I decided I might be able to use Karen Baxter to decide when and where that should be. Listen, I just want you to drive me somewhere we can talk. If you keep your mouth shut and don't panic, you won't get hurt, do you understand? All right, good girl, let's go. Where to? Anywhere. Now, wait a minute. Lund's office. Move. Now, what do you want with me? Honey... Another time, another place, under different circumstances, you wouldn't even have to ask. The situation being what it is, I guess I'd better tell you. Al Kruger was killed tonight, and your boss killed him. What? You must be... I know what I am, but I know what I am. I'm a sucker. I'm an 18-carat solid gold meathead. I shouldn't be left alone with myself the way I walked into this trap. I don't know what you're talking about, but Luke Lund is no killer. Oh, honey, you're so wrong. The way I've got it figured, Al Kruger was blackmailing Lund. He was milking him dry. Now, Lund couldn't afford to have me around. So he decided to kill two birds with one stone. He killed Kruger and then had it fixed so that I'd take the rap. That's impossible. Luke Lund didn't kill Al Kruger. Now, just how are you so sure of that, honey? What time was Kruger killed tonight? Well, Dakin said between 7 and 9.30. Luke Lund was in this office from 6 until after 10 o'clock. We both had to work late on a construction bid that has to be in the first all thing right, in the morning. All right, all right. So maybe he didn't kill him personally. He had an engineer. Now, who could have been the trigger man? Dakin? 
No, no, that'd be cutting it too thin. You got any ideas? Oh, you do, don't you? No, no, I haven't. Oh, no, no, baby, don't lie to me, honey. Please, leave me alone. I don't want to get mixed up in honey, this. Honey, you're mixed up in this right up to your lovely lips. Now, come on, who you got in mind? Well, there's... There's a man by the name of Bonham. Bonham? Lloyd Bonham. He came here from the East several weeks ago. Does he work for Lund? Well, he's on the payroll. I don't know what he's supposed to be doing. I can doing. figure that one out. Where does he live? On the south side of town, 107 4th Street. Okay, come on, baby. Do I have to go with you? Oh, yeah. Misery loves company, honey, and right now I'm the most miserable man in the world. Come on. He lives right there, the first floor. Come on. Now knock. If you ask who it is, you answer. And then go back out to the car and wait. Go on. Baxter, Mr. Bonham. What do you want? I must talk to you. It's very important. Be right with you. Wait a minute. Hey, what is this? Who are you? What do you want? My name's Hammer. Mark Hammer. Hammer? Okay, what do you want? I want Al Kruger's murderer, Bonham. Now, you, you got me mixed up with somebody else. I don't know any Al Kruger or anything about it. Now, take it easy there. Now, let's understand one another, Bonham. I'd just as soon kill you as look at you. If I have to go to the chair for a murder I didn't commit, I might just as well go for one I did. But I'm not going to shoot you. If I have to kill you, you're going to die the hard way. Before I'm through with you, you're going to want me to put a bullet right through your head. Are you gonna talk? I got nothing to say. Well, take it easy! You must be out of your mind! What's the matter? Oh. Now, come on now. You must be out of your mind. Come on, I'll have a don't, don't! No! Oh, no, 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 no more, no. All right, you're gonna talk? No more. No more. No more. Now, you killed Kruger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you did it for a lot to frame me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, and Deacon was in on it, huh? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Get dressed. Uh, no more, huh? You gotta... You gotta give... Give me a ho hospital. Yeah. Yeah. had been opened and I'd been free. But without Bonham alive to admit that he'd killed Kruger, Lund's frame-up was back in one piece working like a charm. I had only one chance of saving my neck now. It was slim, but it might work. I told Karen to go home and wait until she heard from me. If anything happened to her, I was as good as dead. After Karen left, I called Luke Lund. I told him Lloyd Bonham had admitted killing Al Kruger. I told him it was time he and I had a talk and to come to Bonham's flat right away, alone.
Where's Barnum? You neglected to tell me about this. It slipped my mind. He wouldn't leave well enough alone. He went for a gun. We both got a shot off, if mine worked. You know, you may think that I'm right back where I started before Bonham confessed. But I'm not. No. No, no, not quite. You see, you overlooked one small thing. When you telephoned me at the hotel, you said that you were telephoning me from home. Well, you weren't. You were calling me from your office. Karen Baxter overheard you. So? So, it's a small thing. But if I went on trial for my life for Cougar's murder, that small thing could turn into a very big thing. You see, in a frame-up like this, it's a very complicated piece of machinery, and one little thing missing can blow the whole works. You may have a point there. What's your proposition? You want me off your back about Stella Gorman. Okay, I'll get off. But in return, you get Dakin to suddenly discover that it wasn't my gun that killed Kruger. Well, what about Bonham? Now, you and Dakin explain it. Say, maybe you can pin Kruger's murder on him without sticking yourselves. Huh? All right, Hammer, you got yourself a deal. Where can I get in touch with you? Well, I see in the newspapers that uh, Dakin has cleared me. I'll get in touch with you. Miserable little What's creep. the matter with you? Dakin's waiting out. Saturday you just signaled him. He's waiting out there to blast me. Oh, you're out of your mind. Oh, that'd wrap it up real neat, wouldn't it? Take that coat off. Why? What are you going to do? I'm going to give you a better chance than you ever gave anybody in your life, Luke. You're going out there wearing my coat. Well, you're kidding. Get out of that coat, Luke. Okay. You got a choice of taking it from me in here or getting it outside. Now, take your choice. Move. Now, listen to me, Hammer. Move! When you get outside, Luke, I'm going to toss you this gun. From then on, it'll be between you and Dakin and God. You know your scriptures, Luke. An eye for an eye. Dakin isn't out there. Well, then there's nothing to worry about, is there? Now, listen I'm to me, I'm still talking, Luke. started filling the street. From somewhere far off, I heard the siren of an approaching police car. Somebody had already called the police. When they arrived, they'd get the picture. A picture without a frame.